Welcome back, everybody. Eugene Teo here. I'm joined by Dr. Mark Isratal, another special guest, not a Dr. Bart Kwan, and not a Dr. Charlie Jung. And today, we're going to be training back. And I'm going to be handing the reins over to, I think, Dr. Mike to run us through an entire back and other stuff. I don't even know what the training is. Just, Just back. Just back. Just back workout. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. First exercise today will be the lat prayer. We will be praying, but using our lats so that God can hear us more. In any case, sets of 10 to 20 repetitions. The big deal here is that eccentric control to a huge stretch to make sure you get the tension generated at a stretch, which is probably very muscle growth promoting, and then with very good technique coming back down. If you're doing this at home and you feel a lot of tricep activation, first of all, that's okay. Free long head tricep training. Second of all, if it's limiting you and you're not feeling your lats, Instead of having a completely straight elbow, try bending your elbow a little bit. And if that doesn't work, I got nothing for you. Oh, that's you gotta, great. That's you gotta perfect. keep that 120 degree shoulder flexion, you know, for the optimal lap traction. Yes. Yeah. I am a biomechanics guy. person, of yeah, course. Person. Yes. Guru. I can't Ninja. say expert, because that's not true. <laughs> No technique breakdown. Every rep perfect. Every rep perfect. Every rep perfect. Yes. We're here to fuck the muscle. Not just do reps randomly. All the way down. Three more Bart. Slow stretch. Down. Two more. Slow stretch. Down. One more Bart. Let's go. Slow stretch. Milk it. Milk it. Milk it. Down. Yes. Back. Slow. Slow. Oh. Slow. Back. Oh. Now fly away. Go. Whee! <laughs> oh. Feel it? You feel it back there? I'm like sweating from yeah, this yeah. one set. Yeah, yeah. Good. Straight arms on the way down too. No cheating. Yes. Arcing motion up. Arcing motion down. Good. Stay low. Yes, there you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Four more. One. Straight arms. Two. Gentle pause. Three. Last one coming up. Slow. Control. Hit it. Fuck yeah, more if you want, more if you want. Two oh, more. A couple, couple more. Let's go. Good. One more. Slow. Down, and then is if you're gonna do another, full stretch, slow. Slow. And wrap. Oh. Oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah, that was it. That was the one. Very good. Very good. Feels good to train again. Feels good to train. And just not feel anything negative from this in terms of bad pains. 
I was anxious about doing this big stretchy stuff in my chest, but it feels good today. All right, folks, lap prayers are done. Three sets. Now it's time for three sets of 10 to 20 lap pull downs. It's okay to lean back a little bit at the bottom, get an awesome peak contraction. As long as you lean forward at the top to get a huge stretch out of your lats. No swinging, no momentum, no bullshit. Touch the chest every time as a standardization technique for full ROM and to make sure that you're not cheating yourself and being like, I did 18 reps, but either five of them were somewhere the fuck somewhere else. If you're not tearing muscles, you're not training hard enough. Oh, that looks really good. Big stretch at the top. Come all the way vertical at the top. Yep. So you can lean back at the bottom if you lean forward at the top. Yes. Big contraction, big lat stretch. And then contraction, and then big lat stretch. Yes. Beautiful. Just one more and that'll be good for a warm up. Awesome. Big stretch at the top. Stretch it. That's it. So big this stretch. is how he's instructing me to do them. Usually, I think I just go like this. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not doing this up any good in terms of building muscle. We're here to suffer in an organized fashion. Yes. I'm beginning to realize that. I've worked out why he has such thick forearms. Every rep, he gets all the way down his back and then he does like a little, yeah. Just, just to get more. This is why he's so muscular. Slow down on that. Negative. Good one, Scout. Good. One more. There you go. Oh! I can see why you said there's no way I'm deadlifting after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that you deadlifted first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. Yes. Question. Yesterday, on legs, we did a lot of Maya reps. Today, I'm not doing any Maya reps. Yeah. What's the reason for that? Yeah. So, oftentimes with back training, resting is difficult because there's no way to lock out joints or unload. Mm. And thus, while you're resting for back, you're slowly draining the energy. So if you did like a set of 15, you're like, I'm gonna do five, but you do a set of a half, and then you have to drop it. So for pull downs, for me to do my reps, I would have to undo my straps and get out. And right, rest. So That's just a lot of effort for I'm not sure what. Yeah. Um, bent rows, if you think about it, you do my reps, you put it down, you're draining your energy just being in this position. Right. It's just not tenable. You could do my reps and lap prayers, but to be honest, straight sets of lap prayers fuck us up so much anyway, they kind of just don't need them. Okay. You can do them, we haven't found them to be necessary, but right. no hard rules. Just understand that my reps are best when the systemic uh, fatigue of the exercise can be reduced for a second so that you can get some energy back. All so right. on leg presses, when you lock out, you actually do get feel yeah, a little bit chill, better. Yeah. But yeah. if you lock out, like we don't do my reps on squats. Because yeah. imagine you're standing there like, all right, rest it up. You're like, mm, Tom let's me more. That, ah. that was a he bad did. idea. Yeah, I collapsed in the rack. Not Ta -da. good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> but, Getting to train with Tom Platts, that's a big deal by itself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'll do whatever it takes at that point. Like, yeah, I'll snap my neck. He's like, cut Let's your dick it. off. You're like, that's that right away, it's, Mr. Platts. It's already done. It's already it's, done. I it's already done dick. across the gym. This is what we're meant to do. Whee! So you might use Myra, practically speaking, and maybe a machine. Like you have like some kind yes. of where you can dump like it on the machine. Completely. Absolutely. You would do it there. Absolutely. Yes, it's more so. I'd ideally be able to do it here, but practically speaking, we can't. Practically speaking. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool, cool. Love it. Love it. That's it. Oh. That's it. By that's it, I meant uh, this set is over. I wanted to get a round 15. Get out of here. <laughs> you can always adjust the weight. You mean go down? Go up, bro. Yeah. Get that's that what we want. Lit, you know what I'm saying? I was asking Charlie about like the the reasoning behind why we go a pullover first as opposed to why not the pull down first? Yeah, yeah. What's 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 your logic behind it? I have a PhD, so yep. you just gotta it's just follow. True. I just follow you, yeah. You're good at that sort of thing. <laughs> Charlie and I are big and strong enough such that um, we want to increase the stimulus to fatigue ratio of the session mm -hmm. by keeping total fatigue down. Yep. If we were to do a compound movement first, it would be very high fatigue. 
And this isolation first allows us to make the lats the limiting factor on all the other movements. Okay. Thus keeping the total lat stimulus pretty good, yeah. but keeping the overall fatigue less because we have to use less weight to get close to failure with lat movements afterwards. Right, right, that makes sense. So I'd say if you're a beginner just starting out intermediate, compounds first is usually a wise idea. But later on, if big compounds start to really tax the shit out of you, mm. putting an isolation movement first for that muscle can help in, in many contexts. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I can feel your last one over here, bro. Keep it going. Big stretch. One more. One more good one. That's it. Slow. Stretch. Hold. Rack. Oh. My calf cramped a bit when I was Look at the size trying to stabilize thing. myself. Your calves are fucking enormous. <laughs> that's what we were looking at the whole time. His muscle bellies, that's what God made those himself. <laughs> We did lat prayers. We did pull downs. Lats are fucking cooked. Now we do two arm bent over dumbbell rows. Not the best lat exercise in the world because the dumbbells generally are too unstable to produce really high forces. A lot of times your mid back, lower back will limit you in this exercise. But our lats are so pre exhausted, this now turns into a pretty decent overall back movement. And the thing here is you want to maintain a tight position in your hips, so don't round over completely, but you can round over in the thoracic region and extend over after. Full range of motion, sets of 10 to 20 reps, three sets. This will be the end of the workout. Let's get it done. Stay a little bit more upright so you get the full stretch. Good. Oh, that's the best one yet. Good. Beautiful. Big stretch. Perfect. Big chest even at the bottom. Yes. Feel that mid back touch stretching out? Let's Feel go. Feel my fucking hammies from yesterday. Hell yeah, my man. <laughs> Good. Two or three more. Good mind muscle. Good technique. One. Big stretch. Chest up. Two. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Yes. Three. Amazing. Beautiful, let's go. Oh. 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 Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. When I say chest up, you could do this. Yeah. I want you to lower your shoulders and let them stretch but keep your chest pointed this way. It really stretches the fuck out of your upper back. Sure. Good stuff. As many as you can get with good technique. Good, milk it, take your time. Big stretch. Two more. Good. Good, two more. Big chest. Yes, big super stretch. Fuck yeah, Eugene, there it is. Yeah, that was better. Excellent. Less erector fatigue, because yes. I wasn't much, yes, there more as much. mid back fatigue. Yeah. What do you think about, am I supposed to keep my head up the whole time? Like, what if I want to come down? Totally fine, as long as your body positioning is good. When people drop their head, a lot of the time their chest falls. Uh, so if you can maintain an upright chest without doing, without doing this, that's great. I see. But if you're here and you're here, we tell you to look up to do this. Yes. Big stretch. Yeah, there you go. There's that stretch. Shoulders forward. Yes. Good. As many as you do with good techniques. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Feel that in your back? I think he feels it. Chest up. Yes. There it is. There it is. Get that stretch though, chest up and stretch deep. Yes. Big chest, stretch deep, yes. Good. 
Four more. One. Deep stretch. Two. Chest up. Three. Deep stretch. Fuck yeah. Big stretch at the top. Oh, and that's it. All right, we have just finished up training back. It's a really short, efficient workout. I really love that kind of training. It's only three exercises with pullovers, a couple of three sets, pull downs, and, and rows. And my back feels amazing going through those kinds of ranges of motion. And just focusing on quality technique and pushing close to failure. Once you break technique, you stop. Um, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, you said it all, man. It's about quality first, and then as much quantity of high quality effort that you need to hit your landmarks. Fantastic. Well, I have something to add. Yes, please. It was hard. Shut up. <laughs> Charlie? Hey. That's it. He doesn't speak English yet, but we're learning. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out Renaissance Periodization to check out more of their content. Check out Bark Quan. He's got like a bajillion different pieces of content across different YouTube channels. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.